Welcome everyone. Did you know that ever since 1893 the Thai royal family has played an integral role in the creation, growth, governance and patronage of the Thai Red Cross Society? In light of this very close relationship I wrote to the Thai Red Cross Society asking a very great favour and hoping that it might just lead to the final release of two young Burmese scapegoats from a Thai prison. The letter is dated the 27th of October 2022, addressed to Dr. Teg Bunak, Secretary General of the Thai Red Cross Society. It is an open letter and it reads, Dear Dr. Bunak, regarding Thailand's King Rama X, His Majesty Maha Vajralongkorn, plea for full pardons for two Burmese scapegoats, Zolin and Wai Pyo, also known as Winzor Tun, Kotao murders, 15 September 2014. I'm writing to you with a humanitarian request and enclose a copy of my self-explanatory letter dated the 8th of July 2022 to the German Minister for Foreign Affairs, the Honourable Annalena Baerbock. Please note that I am making an unusual request of the German Foreign Minister and the top diplomats from a dozen other countries to negotiate the release of two young Burmese men who clearly appear to have been used as scapegoats and are currently being held hostage in a Thai prison commonly known as the Bangkok Hilton, more particularly known as Bangkwang Central Prison. As you would appreciate, the focus of my request is with the German Foreign Minister, given that His Majesty King Rama X is often a guest of her country and he is the only person with the power to pardon the said hostages. However, I would be obliged if other countries who have lost citizens on the island of Koh Tao could also make any appropriate and polite requests through diplomatic channels to His Majesty. I understand that the International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, based in Geneva, Switzerland, as well as the Russian Red Cross and the Ukraine Red Cross, have in recent weeks successfully negotiated prisoner swaps between Russia and Ukraine. A staff member of the ICRC informed me recently that her organisation does indeed get involved in prisoner swaps in war zones, but does not take part in negotiations for the release of prisoners or hostages in other situations. She therefore directed me to the Thai Red Cross Society, which seems particularly appropriate given the very close ties between the Thai Royal Family and the Thai Red Cross Society. I would be obliged if you would be kind enough to make a very polite request of His Majesty King Maha Vajralongkorn, whether directly or via another member of the Royal Family or via a regent to grant full royal pardons for both the scapegoats, Zorlin and Wai Pyo. They have already spent over eight long years in prison for murders they did not commit, but for which they were framed in order to protect powerful Koh Tao locals and Thailand's lucrative tourism industry. Clearly, His Majesty had nothing to do with the young men's wrongful convictions and incarceration, but he is the only person at this point in time with the power to overturn the miscarriage of justice they have suffered. You are probably aware that Abraham Lincoln was famous for granting merciful and appropriately just pardons, full pardons, for men facing the death penalty. One notably famous pardon was that bestowed by President Lincoln upon the Union soldier William Scott, who fell asleep on sentry duty as a result of going for two days and two nights without sleep. President Lincoln left a wonderful legacy and he is now a statesman who belongs to the ages. I advise that I am not only in the process of writing to dozens of international diplomats, I am also writing to humanitarian aid agencies and former military personnel who trained with His Majesty in different countries around the world. I also understand that some members of the world's other royal families might be successful in contacting His Majesty should they think it important to seek help for the two young Burmese men. 
For your reference, I enclose copies of the following documents, and I've got a list of those documents here. Yours very sincerely and respectfully, Ian Yarwood. Writing to international diplomats, humanitarian organisations and others might seem like unorthodox avenues to try to get the young men out of prison. To help explain my reasoning, I've added a condensed version of a report from Myanmar's Mitsuma TV of December 2020. I've included some edits in black text on a yellow background to help clarify a few issues. Win Tun, also known as Wai Pyo, and Zorlin on death row for the murder case on Koh Tao Island were not included in reduced sentences offered in the Thai King's amnesty, said their lawyer Yu Ang Myo Tant. In Thailand, there is a chance for a pardon or reduced sentence for prisoners once a year, and this time it is for the birthday celebration of the late King Bumibol on the 5th of December. I saw the reduction is not eligible for rape cases. We also talked with the Thailand Attorney Council. They confirmed that Wynne and Zord didn't get included. It is because there is rape in their cases. Yu Ang Muel Tant, the lawyer representing them, confirmed that they were not included in the Thai King's amnesty. Although at least 30,000 prisoners have been pardoned and 20,000 others had their sentences reduced. In August, Win Zo Tun and Zo Lin had their sentence to death for the murders on Koh Tao Island, commuted to life in prison on the celebration of the 88th birthday of the Queen Mother. The sentences are usually reduced from death row to life in prison, life in prison to 50 years in prison, 50 years to 10 years according to the decree on the celebration days of Thailand.